Hello everybody, this is Soundwave, and in today's video we're going to be discussing ship combat. So we're going to go over firing primary and secondary weapons, missile targeting, countermeasures, switching countermeasures, and targeting friendlies as well as hostiles. So let's get into it. Alright, so we're a little bit away from the uh, Crusader planet, which is right next to Alizar. And we're going to show you the countermeasures and also the firing groups. So each ship can have either one, two, or one and two firing groups. Um, to shoot firing group one, you just simply left click on the mouse button and it will shoot your first firing group. If you right click, you will shoot firing group two. So as you can see, the bottom ones are firing group one, the top ones are firing group two. You can hit them both at the same time or you can alternate between them. And that's how you normally pew pew. As I said, remember that not every ship has one and two. They can have one or two, or in this case, in this particular ship, we have both. The next thing is going to be how you're going to do your countermeasures. So we're going to start going a little bit here. And the way you switch between them is you use the B key. So just so I know which one we're using. All right, so we're going to use flares for right now. If you, you can switch between them with the V key and then you can fire them with the C key. We currently have the flares selected. So we're going to hit C to shoot one out and you can see the little flare there the other option is chaff so if you hit V you can switch over to chaff and C to fire them now we'll put little metal fragments out um, it all depends on what kind of missile someone is using so you might have to use both it all depends but that's how you use that and we're gonna go ahead and try to find someone that we can pew pew so we can target the missiles. Now the missiles, just as a side note, the missiles aren't really working right now. They don't really target very well. That's something that uh, Star Citizen devs are aware of, but they're going to be fixing in the next patch that's coming out because it's getting too close to the time for the patch to come out. So they just kind of held on to it. So just be aware that we can target people with missiles and we can fire them at them, but they're not going to do anything. Um, the other thing that we're going to be looking at is how to actually shoot the people because these are moving ships so there is a mechanism in the actual game that's supposed to show you where to kind of lead your shots. So it's going to do some calculations based on their current um, trajectory on how you're going to actually be able to target them. The other thing, oh and good timing. So on the screen, you see two little triangles. One is green, one is red. Green are good guys. Red or orange, it's really orange, um, are bad guys. The way that you cycle through them, if there's more than one, or just to target the first one closest to you. If you hit U, you can target the good guy. If you hit Y, you can target the bad guy. And then once you have them targeted, you can do other things. So in this case, uh, we're going to wait for him to get a little bit closer because we've got to wait between like two and 3,000 meters. And the way that you target someone with your missiles is to click down on the middle button or the scroll wheel. And it will put these little target things on them. And it should tell you the missile is locked, but it should have a solid red circle there if you hit or press and hold that button. Oh, really? Kamikaze, but dude, what the hell? Okay, so let's go ahead and target him again. If it's going to target him. Or is he just going to ram into me again? Okay. Oh. Almost went. Okay, little guy. Ooh, almost at him. All right, one more time. There we go. And then you press and hold on that button, and it will fire a missile at him. 
Not really sure where that missile went, but yeah, that that was part of the thing that I was talking about, where it doesn't really target them very well. Um, okay. Let's try it one more time. Okay. So, like I said, I don't think that that's working. So, what we're going to do is, you should see on your screen, I don't know why this guy keeps wanting to run into me. AI is completely kamikaze today. Anyway, you see this little circle with a dot in it right now. That is going to be your targeting, like where your guns are actually pointed. This little green circle that comes around him, that is going to be the place that you're trying to put that little dot onto. And when you get it onto it, it should be right in front of them. So when you shoot your shots, they should actually start hitting him. Um, that is a little bit broken as well. So you kind of have to guess it sometimes. So it doesn't really work all the time. Um, it's a good approximate approximation right now, but um, it's not too entirely accurate. So just be aware of that, that in the next, vi next video, the next update, um, that should kind of be fixed. So we're just going to go ahead and lead our shots on him a little bit. And we're going to try to pew pew him and blow him up. So that was that, and that's pretty much it. All you have to do is just kind of keep moving around, make sure that you're not stationary, because then people can hit you pretty easily. Um, like I said, the missiles and that targeting system will work a little bit better in the next version, because I know that they've been holding back on those updates. So just be aware of that, that it might be a little bit hinky. You might have to lead the shots on your own a little bit, um, and that the missiles are probably not going to hit anything unless they maintain a two to three thousand um, meter distance from you just in my personal experience that it doesn't seem to target them any better before that and you won't get any targeting after that so that's another thing to be aware of is that most missiles will only go out to about two three thousand meter range um, so if they go to 4,000, 5,000 or something, you're probably never going to get a missile lock unless you're in some kind of ship that's made for long-distance missiles. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, hope you support the series, and see you in the next video. Legends never die. When the world is calling you Can you hear them scream?